The avowed goal of the communists is world domination. By force and subterfuge, the Soviet Union succeeded in conquering the people of Bulgaria, Romania, Hungary, Czechoslovakia, and Poland. Protected by their armies and the secret police, the leaders of the Kremlin are using every means at the disposal of a modern dictatorship in their effort to warp and mold the 70 million people in these countries into instruments of their power, into slaves who can then be used to enslave others. curtain is more than a barrier to freedom and truth. Behind it, the communists seek to hide their brutality and protect their organs of propaganda. They believe that if they can maintain a monopoly of information, they will ultimately succeed in brainwashing their 70 million captives. A mind with vivid memories cannot easily be overwhelmed, but a new generation is now approaching maturity who have no memories of liberty, who have never known freedom. The Soviets are trying to take from them their free will and conscience and subvert their minds with the distortions and lies of communism. Experience teaches the working people whenever the bourgeois gentlemen refer to God and freedom, they actually think of factories and exploitation. If there is a feature that best distinguishes American imperialism among its brethren, it is just its matchless arrogance and greed, its unceremonious ignorance of moral and legal norms, and of international public opinion when the interests of big business are concerned. This is the official view of America, which for more than a decade the regime, radio and press have presented to the people of Eastern Europe. This is the version taught in the schools, and this is the version that would eventually be accepted as true if we allow it to stand unchallenged. But it is challenged. We challenge it by building and supporting Radio of Free Europe. Itt a Szabad Európa rádiója, a Szabad Magyarország hangja. Tuke Radio Svobodna Európa. Glasat na Svobodna Bulgária. Aici Radio Európa Libera. Voccia Romaniei Libere. Mubi Radio Volna Európa. Glas Volnej Polski. Hlási sa vám hlas Slobodného Československa. Rozhlasová stanica Slobodna Európa. These are the voices that destroy the communist monopoly of information. There is no clearer demonstration of this than RFE's role in one of the most significant events of our time. In February 1956, Comrade Khrushchev denounced the communist demigod Stalin before the inner circle of the common form. Knowing that an idol cannot be destroyed without damaging what the idol stood for, the rulers of the Kremlin kept the indictment secret to give their propaganda machine time to re-educate their subjects. But RFE did not give them time. It took but one hour from the moment RFE received a text of the speech to plan its strategy, translate the speech into each of its languages, and adapt its facilities to broadcast to each country the full text of the speech on two frequencies, while simultaneously beaming analysis and commentary on three others. RFE is the only organization in the free world equipped to so completely saturate the satellite nations. Radio Free Europe, the voice of free Hungary. You are listening now to some details of the speech of Mr. Khrushchev held on the... This programming continued round the clock for three and a half days in a display of broadcasting power new to the history of communication. It takes power to crack the Iron Curtain, and RFE has that power. From headquarters in Munich, 3,000 program hours are fed each week to transmitters in Holzkirchen, Biblis, and Lisbon. Specially designed directional antennas bounce the signals off the heavy side layer, concentrating them on selected areas.
From 29 powerful transmitters, RFE completely blankets the captive nations. To keep its programs factual and timely, RFE news bureaus all over Europe send to Munich headquarters refugee reports and news on conditions and activities filtering through the Iron Curtain. RFE is the free press in exile for the satellite nations. Its effectiveness depends on maintaining one of the most extensive news gathering organizations in the world. To fully report the news of the West, RFE has access to all the free world's news and scans all its major publications. To expose the lies, distortions, and abuses of power of the Soviets and their puppets, 550 newspapers and periodicals from behind the Iron Curtain are screened by RFE staff. The Soviet news agencies and the output of 44 leading communist radio stations are recorded and translated. To aid in its evaluation of the news, RFE maintains an up-to-date file on the activities of all known communists behind the Iron Curtain of the satellite countries. Radio Free Europe staff, made up of American advisors and refugees who have lived under communist tyranny, has built an extraordinary reputation for accuracy and reliability. RFE is an arsenal of truth feared by the Soviets. Its 10-minute newscasts every hour bring the people the forbidden truth about America and Western achievements. This exposes, by contrast, the weakness of the Soviet system. Its policy of never letting a lie stand for more than one hour from the time RFE learns of it keeps the communists on the defensive, for if the people know the truth, the communist lies become valueless. As a communist commentator said recently, even today, Radio Free Europe is a living caution to us. We must never allow the imperialists to inform our radio listeners more speedily and adroitly than we do. Aici Radio Europa Liberă, vocea României Libere. Presa occidentală publică astăzi... Is this news important? Well, let the communists themselves answer. Communists spend more in their attempts to jam RFE than RFE spends in all its broadcasting. But its power is so great that 80 to 90 percent of its programs get through on at least one frequency. Radio Free Europe's programs cover all fields and appeal to all groups and therefore can attack the communists from all angles. <laughs> Popular entertainment, music, and dramatic programs attract an audience of from 70 to 80 percent of the people in the target countries. This despite numerous regime attempts at intimidation. The people would not take this risk unless RFE had their full confidence and respect. The communists themselves acknowledge the value of Radio Free Europe by their frantic efforts to silence it. But in the long run, the true measure of its success is in the reaction of its audience. For instance, in these letters received by RFE headquarters here in Munich. This one, for instance, in Polish. In the eyes of the people, Radio Free Europe slowly becomes more than a broadcasting station. It is the West itself. And this letter from Romania. Believe me, this voice is the hope in an otherwise hopeless situation. This one, a card from Hungary. The most powerful weapon of this era is not the atom, but the radio, which for us is often more than bread, home, rest, or relaxation. Letters are important in gauging listener reaction to RFE, but even more important are the stories told by those who've escaped from behind the Iron Curtain. We found at this camp a few miles outside Munich five men to whom Radio Free Europe means a great deal. Mr. Emery Boba is our translator from Radio Free Europe. Mr. Boba, would you put a couple of questions to these gentlemen for us? Mr. Boba, how did they escape from behind the Iron Curtain? One night during guard duty, after suitable preparation, we seized two airplanes and some gasoline and took off in the direction of Austria from the training airfield located near Demblin. 
Is it dangerous to listen to Radio Free Europe? Radio Free Europe. Słuchanie radia wolnej Europy jest bardzo niebezpieczne, szczególnie w wojsku. Listening to RFE is very dangerous, especially in the army. But still, one of us would secretly listen to the radio while on duty in the barracks. And after having heard the broadcast through in the morning or during the day, he recounted what he had heard to his closest friends. What are the most popular RFE programs? Wolne Polskie są najbardziej popularne, w pańskim zdaniem. W ogóle wiadomości i programy the news programs were for us the most important because after listening to the news from Poland over Radio Free Europe and comparing it with the communist news, we were able to reach a correct view on the situations. What does Radio Free Europe mean to their friends left at home in Poland? The programs have great importance because from them people learn the true news from the homeland and what is happening in general abroad. This information we have only through Radio Free Europe. Our fifth man lost both arms in the Warsaw Uprising. After the war, he made his escape to freedom on this side of the Iron Curtain. Mr. Boba, could we ask him whether he believes that Radio Free Europe should be continued in its broadcast to the other side of the curtain? I consider that the programs must be continued, for if they stop, it would be a victory for communist propaganda. It would deprive the people behind the Iron Curtain of proper political information. Events since the Khrushchev speech have served to weaken considerably their hold over the satellite nation. Each of us can help assure that they do not regain this control by our contributions to the Crusade for Freedom, which supports the operations of Radio Free Europe. It is for each of us our most personal and effective way of weakening those who would weaken us and strengthening those who would support us. I know that our country and our friends behind the Iron Curtain can count on you for active participation and leadership in this most critical of all battles, the winning of men's minds. Without this victory, we can have no other victories. By your efforts, backed up by America, we can achieve our great goal, that of enabling us and all the peoples of the world to enjoy in peace the blessings of freedom. The Crusade is your organization. Its towers of truth are truly towers of strength for the captive peoples behind the Iron Curtain. Send your contributions to Crusade for Freedom, care of your local postmaster, or care of your local volunteer organization. <laughs>